Hey I'm Lily and welcome to my channel. In today's video I want to show you how to make affirmations for positive thinking. I made my own affirmation cards using paint, markers, and watercolor paper. So I'll show you how to make them step by step and let's just get started. First of all I want to say I hope that you're doing okay physically and mentally. I've not been indoors for two months and I can say that it's been a little bit difficult to keep my sanity <laughs> and that is considering the fact that, that I'm an introvert and I've been preparing for this moment my entire life so I can only imagine if you're more of an extrovert maybe that's more difficult for you and something that's really been helping me stay sane during this time of the coronavirus has actually been affirmations I share with you guys ones that really helped me um, that was um, when I was starting to feel really overwhelmed last year with all the things that were on my plate in regards to my routine, things that I have to get done having to go from one, one thing to another, YouTube, kickboxing, my work, my friends, family and every time I would get really overwhelmed and anxious with those feelings of there's not enough time in the day or I have so much to do I started saying to myself everything I do, I do with ease and I noticed that for some reason my brain would totally buy into this new thought and just leave the other anxious overwhelming thoughts behind and the more and more that worked for me the more and more i started using other phrases to help me around in my life and so some of them i'm gonna use in the cards that i make today during this whole coronavirus quarantine i started to really feel like very challenged every time I had something that either required me to get other people to help me or required me to leave the house or you know required me to like not stay home and basically not stay like sanitized <laughs> is that weird or, or really anytime that like a difficult situation came up um I, I think I shared with you guys I don't know if I shared this with you guys a couple of weeks ago Right when the like, right when the lockdown started, my cat Phoebe she scratched her eye, so I had to take it to the vet. And at first, the vet that saw her thought she scratched her cornea, so I had to give her eye drops. And I mean, if you ever try to give eye drops to a cat, <laughs> you will know it's like a terrible experience. The cat is, cats are really smart. Like, I'm still like I'm still so amazed at how smart cats are like dogs you can kind of trick them into doing things but after a couple of times your cat figures out what you're trying to trick them into doing so needless to say giving eye drops to my cat twice a day for a week was extremely difficult and it was starting to give me a lot of anxiety because she had a lot of anxiety and you know and it had to become like a forceful thing and I had to hold out my cat to give her an eye drop and so I wrote down this affirmation on a post-it um, and I put it on my desk and it's actually a quote I believe from A Course of Miracles but the quote goes a miracle is a shift in perception and the way that we've been taught to think about miracles is like something magical something extraordinary like turning water into wine or something like that like walking on water and when i read this quote a miracle is a shift in perception it changes a miracle into something that is attainable and um something that doesn't have to be you know like huge otherworldly because the course of miracles states that we're all capable of creating miracles and when you then give that definition to a miracle, a shift in perception, then it's true. We can all shift our perception. And so this quote actually has been helping me a lot. So that meant every time I was gonna, you know, every time I had to give uh, Phoebe her eye drop, instead of feeling anxious that I'm gonna hurt her or that I'm gonna make her feel like I'm hurting her, I started to shift my own perception like you know i'm her owner i'm doing this to help her and she's gonna understand that i'm doing it out of love and it shouldn't really be a confrontation or any kind of a chase or like you know a forceful thing because 
I'm really like, you know, her mother basically uh, in being her owner and, you know, if, if as a mother you're gonna give medicine to your child, it's not a hurtful, aggressive gesture and when I changed my perception, I actually found it a little by little, it was a lot easier. I went, I approached the situation with a different emotion, different energy and Animals are actually very perceptive to your energy, so as a result, Phoebe was much, Phoebe was much more calm whenever I would approach her, and the situation got more and more easy the longer that it went, and the longer and longer, and the more and more I used this affirmation, and I worked with my cat, the more I began to use it in other situations, like anything really i've been using it like every single day <laughs> especially once i posted it on my desk which is why i decided to create like a prettier um you know affirmation card type of thing because it has actually been helping me to think differently and just more calmly through problem that's personally how i use affirmations uh you can use the affirmations in any situation in life you can use them to remind you to love yourself to feed yourself, to work harder, to be more compassionate with yourself if you already work hard. There's endless possibilities. And I do want to say that your affirmation doesn't have to make sense to other people. My last video that was about meditation, I actually told you guys, you know, if you can't quiet your mind, just there are days that it's not worth putting up a fight, just let your thoughts run wild. And I actually really liked that quote, um, but I changed it to let myself run wild or let yourself run wild because lately I've been realizing, and when I say lately, I mean like months and probably like a year or more, I've just been realizing that, especially when I was growing up, what I used to do was take people's like um, reactions of me and really like hold on to them and allow them to stop myself from showing my full personality really to make myself smaller in order to make somebody else more comfortable but in making myself smaller and other people don't see my personality therefore they cannot connect with who i am or they don't, probably don't feel that i'm authentic and i certainly don't feel that i'm authentic when i censor myself so i have been getting a lot a way better at this as I grow older but I still have those moments where I catch myself like you know will this video idea be too weird if I go for it like for example my spiritual journey video I that's I've been wanting to talk about my spirituality for a long time on my channel and I just didn't because I thought people would think it was weird but at the end of the day you just have to learn to love who you are and embrace who you are instead of trying to accommodate other people's idea of who you should be because i've definitely noticed like when you try to please other people they don't respect you because they just don't feel that you're authentic they may not be able to articulate those thoughts and tell you right off the bat that that's how they feel but they can sense that you're not being yourself and that you're they don't understand how to make sense of you Whereas if you're just true to who you are and you present yourself, the people that are meant to be your friends, they like you and they accept you and the other people don't care. You know, it's like that phrase, the people that mind don't matter and the people that matter don't mind. You could probably write that as an affirmation actually. <laughs> but I don't know, for me, I just, let, I just like these words, let yourself run wild. And I know that like myself is not really wild in comparison to others. But sometimes, to me, that's what it feels like. Like, I just have to, like, just be the, my weird self and just be wild. And so that's why I wrote that affirmation, because there are those days when I, when I need that gentle reminder to just be myself and just embrace who I am. And for my next affirmation, I wrote, you know, similarly, embrace your power. There are times in my life where I haven't felt like I was powerful. And in fact, when I was younger, I thought I was weak. And um, especially as I've grown older and I've faced more and more difficult situations in my life, 
I realized I'm actually a very powerful person and the people in the past that have been put off by that is because they themselves were not powerful because if you encounter a person who's powerful if you encounter a person who's confident they're not gonna try to pull you down it's the people that are weak that have a problem with you being strong and so I just wrote because again sometimes I need that gentle reminder embrace your power and that doesn't mean that I'm powerful 100% of the time or that I do it perfectly 100% of the time but it doesn't matter I just need that reminder sometimes the other quote that's really been helping me calm my nerves during quarantine is how would you feel if you knew that everything turned out to be okay and especially when this whole quarantine started I was really scared especially for my family but I was really scared about everybody that I know are they gonna get sick am I gonna get sick am I gonna get them sick and this is another affirmation that's really been helping me regulate my nervous system because nothing is happening at the moment most of the time when we feel anxiety we're actually thinking of the future and if there's actually nothing for me to you know, be nervous about, be anxious about, or be, feel sad and depressed about, that I'm actually just making it up in my mind. I know that some of you actually are th going through really difficult times, but if you're actually not experiencing it yet, there's no reason why you should live in that state of mind. So that's how I personally have found affirmation cards to really help me. Whenever I'm stuck in a negative thinking pattern, I can use affirmations to kind of remind me that there's really no point in feeling anxious at the moment, unless there's an actual emergency. And even then, like I said, even then an affirmation has helped me kind of calm my thoughts down by saying, how can I shift my way of thinking so that I can see a solution more clearly? So this is how my affirmation cards turned out especially the let yourself run wild card is my favorite one and i think it looks the prettiest and i'm really happy to actually have finally created paints paintings that have a lighter color palette and i'm looking forward to bringing these skills into my canvases in my future videos and again if you get frustrated in this process of making your own affirmation cards know that you can always make them better in the future i might redo some of them or i might write new quotes in the future um in which case i might do an update to this video i don't know but the process of creating art does have a lot of like making mistakes and solving problems to it so you know don't beat yourself up if you don't immediately come up with something that you're super proud of so just use this project as a way to give yourself tools to shift your mindset whenever you're feeling anxious or any anything else, any perception that you want to shift in yourself. If you want to tell yourself, if you want to teach yourself to think of yourself as more beautiful, more loving, more compassionate, you can use affirmation cards for anything that, that you want, anything that you want to, any perception you want to shift in your mind. And that's really all I have for you today. Thank you for watching if you still are. Subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. And remember to follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one.